politically powerfully connected businesses such as Enron and Global Crossing have drawn a great deal of attention, and rightly so. But in tonight's Eye on America, CBS's Vince Gonzalez reports all too often far less attention is paid to far greater losses when the dollars come from taxpayers' pockets. At the Pentagon, the day before 9-1-1, Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld declared war, not on foreign terrorists. The adversary is closer to home. It's the Pentagon bureaucracy. He said money wasted by the military poses a serious threat. In fact, it could be said that it's a matter of life and death. Rumsfeld promised change, but the next day, the world changed. And in the rush to fund the war on terrorism, the war on waste seems to have been forgotten. My 03 budget calls for more than $48 billion in new defense spending. More money for the Pentagon when its own auditors admit the military cannot account for 25% of what it already spends. According to some estimates, we cannot track $2.3 trillion in transactions. $2.3 trillion, with a T. That's $8,000 for every man, woman, and child in America. To understand how the Pentagon can lose track of trillions, consider the case of one military accountant who tried to find out what happened to a mere 300 million. We know it's gone, but we don't know what they spent it on. Jim Minnery, a former Marine turned whistleblower, is risking his job by speaking out for the first time about the millions he noticed were missing from one defense agency's balance sheets. Minnery tried to follow the money trail, even crisscrossing the country looking for records. The director looked at me and he says, why do you care about this stuff? <laughs> It took me aback, you know. My supervisor asked me why I care about doing a good job. So. He was reassigned and says officials then covered up the problem by just writing it off. They got to cover it up. That's where the corruption comes in. They've got to cover up the fact that they can't do the job. The Pentagon's inspector general partially substantiated several of Minnery's allegations, but could not prove officials tried to manipulate the financial statements. Twenty years ago, Pentagon employee Franklin C. Spinney made headlines exposing what he calls the accounting games. He's still there, and although he does not speak for the Pentagon, he believes the problem has gotten worse. Those numbers are pie in the sky. The books are cooked routinely year after year after year. Retired Vice Admiral Jack Shanahan commanded the Navy's second fleet the first time Donald Rumsfeld served as defense secretary. With good financial oversight, we could find $48 billion in loose change in that building without having to hit the taxpayers. In the two and a half minutes since this report began, the Pentagon has spent nearly $2 million. And it may never know where 25% of those tax dollars went. In Los Angeles, I'm Vince Gonzalez for Eye on America.